Hundreds of Ford Mustangs from the past and present line the streets of Detroit. The so-called stampede began in the U.S. state of Washington and visited the Ford headquarters in Michigan before reaching its final destination at Detroit's Hart Plaza. It was all part of Ford's unveiling of the seventh-generation Mustang at the North American International Auto Show. The new car won't have an electric option. This is a vehicle for those still thirsting for the roar of a V8 engine. But Ford's Jim Owens says the company is looking to cater to all markets. We've been able to build our portfolio in the sports car segment to be able to deliver both on electric and on those customers who still desire that internal combustion engine. We've expanded the Mustang Corral, if you will. Um, if you are interested in the electrical propulsion, we have that Mustang Mach-E. We know that customers still want a choice between those. The challenge for many auto manufacturers is balancing the move to electric vehicles while also releasing products the market demands today. And it would appear that most are likely to keep a foot in both camps for the time being at least. To illustrate that point, Chevrolet's big reveal at this show is the gas-powered Tahoe RST. But the company recently revealed a new range of EVs, taking pride of place on their stand. People will be buying internal combustion engines for some time. It's how fast do we stay aligned with the pace at which EV adoption is happening. Um, but that's what Chevrolet's going to be. We're going to be here for EV customers. We're going to be here for internal combustion engine customers. Jeep revealed two new hybrid cars at the show. But longer term, they see a huge market for 4x4 electric vehicles. There is a lot of traction in North America. And when people start experiencing electrification, I think they fall in love with it. Especially when you off-road, when, when, you're, you're, when you're on a trail, you know, doors are off, top off, and you're in absolute silence you know, in a trail. This is wonderful. The EV market promises to be intensely competitive in the coming years. But the transition for traditional auto manufacturers poses major headwinds. Dan Williams, CGTN, Detroit.